Hello everyone, today is Thursday, May 10th. It's 6.52 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see my computer clock here. I'm just getting around to making today's video. I had to do a webinar earlier today. On my left is the time in sales. You can see the Immuni S&P currently trading at 27.17. It was quite a good upside day for the markets today. First up is the DAX on the Superenco 14 tick. This one is the one with the 5,000 goal, but I very deliberately closed the trade right here. It probably actually would have hit its goal, but I wanted to demonstrate that you can uh, close a position or stop trading. I was wa actually watching this trade, and I kind of trailed my stop down on the bars here, and I used the close one and close two here because it brings the stop to the bid and ask. The market was dropping rapidly uh, from this point here. And so um, I ended up with 2,400 profit here, even though the goal was 5,000. It was okay because I had 2,400 profit for the day, so I didn't need to go to 5,000. And I kind of wanted to demonstrate that point that there's no shame in shutting off the auto trader. You know, even if you haven't hit your goal, but you're close enough to it where it's a good day because time in the market is risk in the market. So it's an unknown. It probably would have hit its goal looking at these trades if it got short here, and it would have. So this might have been a loser here, but this would have been a big winner. In any case, a solid performance on the DAX. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a 987 tick line break chart. And what's interesting about this is it was quite a slow grind up for several hours on the line break charts here. Uh, we started off with a couple of losers, and we, well, actually right here, we drew down only about $300 or 150 per contract, and then we came back with these winning trades here, especially this big run to the upside. This trade went long at 2707.75 and covered at 2723. That's about 15 points or 60 ticks on this move and that did 1287 and our goal on this one is 1300 so uh, one tick of slippage. Okay the Amini S&P on a Super Inco 4 tick with a 6 tick higher time frame filter this did uh, 1,000, 1,037.50 and of course took advantage of this upside move here uh, two long trades to the upside and our goal on this one is 1050 so uh, one tick slippage just shy of our goal okay the crude on the BWT super Anko six tick chart did 740 for the day a couple of small losers drawing down only about three hundred dollars or 150 per contract and then came back and finished at 740 for the day on two contracts okay the e mini s p uh, on a single long trade on that big move so here we can see the volatility of that move you know, again, a, a slow grind to the upside with a fake out here and then uh, moving again to the upside. But this higher time frame filter uh, keeping us out of all the potential whipsaws here. So this did uh, just shy of its goal by one tick. The goal here is 750. And this one is trading only two contracts. It's a limit order with a one tick pullback. Okay, I wanted to show this chart. I had to refresh the chart, so this is actually a look back. The actual performance on this was about 1400 so the trades were similar here on the Super Anko 7 tick, but this was a winning chart today and uh, very similar looking trades. Okay, next up is the DAX on the 8 Ranko. This did 2562 today. This is also using a higher time frame filter, so really excellent trade placement here, entry and exit. And the goal on this, I believe, is 2,500. This worked out pretty well on the regular regular Renko bars. This had pretty good positive slippage here. Really nice day for the DAX on the regular 8 rank. Okay, next up is the Heikinashi 1587 Heikinashi on the crude oil. And this did 1160 for the day. These are all the trades here. It's our beginning equity at zero. So it looks like four winners, these two being 
mostly break even. Our goal on this chart is 1500. Okay, next up is the mid cap on the Superenco 10 tick chart. This had a single long trade here, trading two contracts and resulting in 990. We had one tick of slippage. This one has a goal of 1000. So just shy of the goal, one tick slippage, pretty solid trade. Okay, next up is the NASDAQ on a 987 Heike and Ashi chart. And this was, looks like it was not super active, very, very moderately active here. The ability to handle some losing trades here can be seen, and then catching the bigger moves here. So this did just over $1,000. Our goal on this one is 1000 so we had uh, half a tick of slippage here somehow. So a slightly higher time frame on the NASDAQ, the 2584 high Kanashi chart, and probably didn't get filled on the long here with our limit order. We have a limit order with a pullback of eight ticks. So probably missed this trade here, but actually I take that back. This uh, initiated yesterday at 11.30 a.m. and carried through the session here. This is the uh, day change. So interestingly on this is the uh, signal on the indicator is just fantastic here this is you know quite a large move here i'm sorry 100 points 140 points about to the top of this move here anyway this did 325 it only caught uh this winning trade here a small loser very small loser less than 100 dollars as you can see here and then came back so 325 for the day but great signal on the indicator and then our E-mini S&P on a regular five Ranko chart. This did 260.250 through the day. The equity high was about $400. And then we had a small loser here that dragged us down. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.